Time now for my take. Every time we have a mass shooting, we talk about guns, right? Yes, the Orlando massacre was terror. But there's no doubt that Omar Mateen was able to kill so many people because he was firing an AR-15, a military-style assault weapon, a weapon easier to buy in the state of Florida than buying a handgun. Florida sets a three-day waiting period for purchasing handguns, but the state mandates no waiting period for any gun that requires two hands to hold. President Obama and gun control advocates have repeatedly called for reinstating the federal ban on semi-automatic assault weapons that expired in 2004. Congress has said no. So what do you think? A recent Quinnipiac poll shows 58% of you support banning the sale of assault-style weapons. So here's my question today. Do we need AR-15s to hunt and kill deer? Do we need them to protect our families? Yes, I'm in favor of people being able to carry. I think some of these mass shootings would have been less deadly if that were the case. But I'm also with the majority today, taking a stand. Can't we hold true the sanctity of the Second Amendment while still having common sense? And that brings us to our question of the day. Should Congress reinstate the assault weapons ban? I know a lot of you aren't agree with me today. That's fine. That's what makes America great. Look, you don't. 89% of you say no. 11% say yes. Tweet me at Gretchen Carlson. Use the hashtag the real story. This is why we are America. So what does Dr. Ben Carson think about Donald Trump's comments on expanding his proposed temporary Muslim ban?